in about eight days. I mean, it was the most massive uh, affair, and they're so they're so organised and they're so practised at it. It was, went like clockwork. So I don't think this is even so much really as a big challenge. We see a Mercedes truck, truck arriving. Is, so that, is, is that Prince Harry? Harry? Is this Prince Harry, Harry, Harry pulling up right now? Well, we don't recognise that chap. Maybe mm -hmm. that's security. But here oh, we go. Yes. Oh, hey. He's got He's the beard. Beard. He's got He's the beard. Just oh. <laughs> Harry has arrived, and of course, with his brother William, Bolt they've just Bolt. arrived. Look at that. Both in their military garb, looking, looking very dapper. Yes. Tell us about yes. the uniform, Ingrid. Ingrid, tell us about the uniform of well, I, Harry. That, I think that must be the uniform of the Royal, the Royal Marines. He's just become Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Marines, taking over from his grandfather, Prince Philip. And that is a very dashing uniform. And yes. I think that's what it is. And also, you know, Harry has done two tours of duty in Afghanistan. There was no chance that he was ever going to wear a morning suit. I mean, he no wanted, chance? No, he was yes. always going to wear a uniform to make that statement that he is a military man. He's a soldier. And Harry is a person who would have stayed longer in Afghanistan if he could have. He, he wanted would have, to. He wanted to right. stay longer. He did so much. And he, he was, was there for he was there, sir, for 10 years, but it was reported, Kevin, you're right, he did not want to leave. He didn't want to come at back, and, and it was tragic for him when it was disrupted because he saw himself as there to serve and there to be with his men as an officer. You all um, have probably seen that iconic interview that Harry was doing with a reporter and something broke out behind him, mm -hmm. and he rips out the airpiece and goes running into the into the call for action. Mm-hmm. How tall they are. They do yes. look immensely princely. Well, well, Prince William gift. has a lot of hardware on his uniform, Ingrid. <laughs> he certainly does. Now, the wedding, the wedding guests were told that they couldn't have swords and uh -huh. they weren't allowed to wear medals. But I think that uh, William is going to make up for that. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, he has got. Yeah. Well, no, he hasn't got any medals. But he's got that wonderful uh, gold braid. And what about, the, what about the bond between these two in this moment that shows how, no matter what, through thick and thin, these two have stuck together, We're together Tina? Yeah. Well, they, they, they have such a great relationship, yeah. They do have a great relationship, and they really sort of tease each other and razz each other up and call each other nicknames. And they're the only two people in the world that really know what it's like to be... Yes where they are. And they're great foils to one another. I mean, R William is the more stoic one who's, I think, helped to ground William, uh, Harry when he goes off the rails. And there's a, there's a sense of solace. These two brothers went through something absolutely tragic together. Yes, they did. Cemented them. They were at school at the same time. They share many of their friends. It's amazing how many friends they have in common. But they, you know, I thought it was interesting after little baby Louie was born very recently, uh, I saw an interview with Harry and he said, well, this means it's put you further away from the firm. And he said, isn't that great? <laughs> isn't that great? <laughs> He doesn't envy his brother on that, seemingly. No, and William has really... I think one of the things that was so tra trying for, for Harry was that he was always playing third wheel after a time with William and Kate. He really wanted to settle down himself. And I think seeing William had produced this extraordinarily happy family also just kind of meant that he really felt that's what he wanted for himself. Mm -hmm. So he is a member of the Blues and Royals, and you see he's greeting other soldiers because he, they play an important part in his life, but also in this ceremony. And before and afterwards, we will see the two um, regiments of military um, groups that played a big part in Harry's life and his service in the parade. So it's kind of cool that Harry has yes. kept his military life involved in so many veterans and, of course, running the Invictus Games and all the other charities. Yeah, I mean, he's really devoted so much of his life to the wounded, you know, wounded warriors who, with the Invictus Games, and that has been his big passion for the last few years. And I think that they really see him as one of, the, you know, one of theirs, you know. Mm. Uh, the church rises to his feet as Harry walks in the door. <laughs> With, with the uh, Dean of Windsor here. Well, it, he's going to be standing there for quite a while, 20 minutes, waiting for her to arrive. They'll probably crack a few jokes, won't they, between <laughs> Yes. But don't you remember, guys, when uh, William and Kate were married and Harry whispered to his brother when he first saw her, he said something like, she looks gorgeous she or looks something. She looks gorgeous, yes. As she was walking down because William hadn't turned around. I thought that was very nice. Well, William has been through all this, so he can help to settle any nerves that, that Harry has. And by the way, just some official.